Blessed is our God, who is now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, comfort of the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fittest all things, treasury of every good and bestower of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ the King and our God. Hearken, O Lord, unto my righteousness. Attend unto my supplication, give ear unto my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips. From before, thy, from before thy face let my judgment come forth. Let mine eyes behold uprightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited it in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me, that my mouth might not speak of the works of men, for the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard. Set my footsteps in thy path, let my steps that my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God. Incline thine ear unto me and hearken unto my words. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, O thou that savest them that hope in thee. For them that have resisted thy right hand keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye. In the shelter of thy wings wilt thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly which have opposed me, oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul. They have enclosed themselves with their own fat. Their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me. They have set their eyes to look as cans on the earth. They have taken me as might a lion ready for his prey and as a might a lion's whelp that dwelleth in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from ungodly men, thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few do thou separate them <coughs> from the earth in their life. Yet with thy hidden treasures hath their belly been filled. They have satisfied themselves with swine and have left the remnants to their babes. But as for me, in righteousness shall I appear before thy face. I shall be filled when, the, when thy glory is made manifest to me. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put to shame, nor let mine enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Saviour. For on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my youth and mine ignorances remember not. According to thy mercy remember thou me. For the sake of thy goodness, O Lord, good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him a law in the way of which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. 
The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he it is that will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Bring me out from my necessities. Behold my lowliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and the secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with his soap, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy face, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy guiding spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. The good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure unto Sion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation of whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast transfigured on the mountain, O Christ, O God, showing to thy disciples thy glory as each one could endure. Shine forth thou on us, who are sinners all, thy light ever unending. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, light bestow a glory to thee. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theodogos, thou art the true vine that hath blossomed forth the fruit of life. Thee do we supplicate. Intercede, O Lady, together with the apostles and all the saints that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God. Blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. 
Amen. On the mount that was transfigured, and thy disciples as much as they could bear, beheld thy glory, O Christ our God, that when they should see thee crucified, they would know thy passion to be willing, and would preach to the world that thou in truth art the effulgence of the Father. Kirillation, 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 Thou who at all times and at every hour, in heaven and on earth, hath worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, what long-suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who callest all to salvation through the promise of thy good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make just our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about to thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by their array we may attain to the unity of the faith, and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Amen. O Sovereign Master, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and Thou, Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which Thou knowest, save me, Thine unworthy servant, for blessed are Thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Him, Christ, our King and our God. O God, in Thy name save me, and in Thy strength do Thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto my words, unto the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul, and have not set God before themselves. For behold, God helpeth me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon mine enemies, utterly destroy them that by thy truth. Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For out of every affliction hast thou delivered me, and mine eye hath looked down upon mine enemies. Give ear, O God, unto my prayer, and disdain not my supplication. Attend unto me, and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation, and I was troubled at the voice of the enemy, and at the oppression of the sinner, because they have turned iniquity upon me, and with wrath were they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death is fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me, and darkness hath covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest? Lo, I have fled afar off, and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for God that saveth me from faint-heartedness and from tempest. Plunge them into the depths, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and gainsaying in the city. Day and night they go round about her upon walls. Iniquity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. But if mine enemy had reviled me, I might have endured it. And if he that hateth me had spoken boastful words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou it was, O man of like soul with me, my guide and my familiar friend. Thou who together with me didst sweeten my repasts, 
In the house of God I walked with thee in oneness of mind. Let death come upon such ones, and let them go down alive into Hades. For wickedness is in their dwellings, and in the midst of them. As for me, unto God have I cried, and the Lord hearkened unto me. Evening, morning, and noonday will I tell of it, and will declare it, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from them that drew nigh unto, draw nigh unto me, for they among were many with me. God will hear, and he will humble them. He that is before the ages, for to them there is no requital, because they have not feared God. He hath stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have defiled his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts have convened. Their words were smoother than oil, and yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, O God, shall bring those men down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. With his shoulders will he overshadow thee, and under his wings shall thou be, have hope. <coughs> With a shield with, of his, with a sh, with a shield will his truth encompass thee. Thou shalt not be afraid of terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall it not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, Lord, art my hope, thou madest the, might, thou madest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no scourge shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. Unto the, upon the asp and basilisk shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he that set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Thou wast transfigured on the mountain, O Christ, our God, showing to thy disciples thy glory as each one could endure. Shine forth thou on us who are sinners all, thy light ever unending. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, light bestow our glory to thee. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Since thou art a wellspring of pity, Count us worthy of compassion, O Theodogos. Look upon a sinful people. Show forth as always thy power. For hoping in thee we cry, rejoice unto thee, as once did Gabriel, the supreme commander of the bodiless hosts. As first fruits of our nature, to the planter of created things, the world presenteth the God-bearing martyrs, martyred saints in offering unto thee, O Lord, through their earnest entreaties, keep thy church in deep peace and divine tranquility through the pure Theotokos, O thou who art greatly merciful. Kiri 
Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth at worship and glorify the Christ God, who at long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who callest all to salvation through the promise of the good things to come, receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make just our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about to thy holy angels that guided and guarded by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory, for blessed are down to the ages of ages. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thee, who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. O God and Lord of hosts, and maker of all creation, who in the tender compassion of thine unfathomable mercy didst send down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross didst rent the handwritings of our sins, and thereby didst tri triumph over the principalities and powers of darkness. Do thou thyself, O man befriending master, accept also from us sinners these prayers of thanksgiving and entreaty, and deliver us from every destructive and dark transgression, and from all enemies, both visible and invisible, that seek to do us evil. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, and incline not our hearts unto words or thoughts of evil, but pierce our souls with longing for thee, so that ever looking to thee, and being guided by thy light, as we behold thee, the unapproachable and everlasting light, we may send up unceasing praise and thanksgiving unto thee, the Father which is without beginning, thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Holy Father, bless. Come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Him, Christ, the King and our God. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. In a place of green pasture, there hath He made me to dwell. Beside the water of rest hath He nurtured me. He hath converted my soul. He hath led me on paths of righteousness for His name's sake. For though I should walk in the midst of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they have comforted me. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of them that afflict me. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, and thy cup which filleth me, how excellent it is. And thy mercy shall pursue me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord unto length of days. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof the world, and all that dwell therein. He hath founded it upon the seas, and upon the rivers hath he prepared it. Who shall ascend into the mountain of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that is innocent in hands and pure in heart, who hath not received his soul in vain, and hath not sworn deceitfully to his neighbor. Such a one shall receive a blessing from the Lord, and mercy from God his Savior. This is the generation of them that seek the Lord, of them that seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up ye gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. 
Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in war. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. I believed, wherefore I spake, I was humbled exceedingly. As for me, I said in mine ecstasy, every man is a liar. What shall I render unto the Lord for all that he hath rendered unto me? I will take the cup of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows unto the Lord will I pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, I am thy servant. I am thy servant and the son of thy handmaid. Thou hast broken my bonds asunder. I will sacrifice a sacrifice of praise unto thee, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows unto the Lord will I pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Kyrie eleison, kyrie eleison, kyrie eleison. Overlook my iniquities, O Lord, who was born of a virgin, and purify my heart, and make it a temple of thine immaculate body and blood. Cast me not away from thy presence, and as one despised, O thou who hast immeasurably great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. How can I, the unworthy one, shamelessly dare to partake of thy holy gifts? For, that, for should I dare to approach thee with those who are worthy, my vesture doth betray me, for it, it, is, for it befitteth not the supper, and I shall bring condemnation upon my sin-laden soul. Cleanse, O Lord, the defilement of my soul, and save me, since thou art the friend of man. Glory to the Father, and to the, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Great are the multitudes of mine enemies, O Theotokos. Unto thee have I fled, O pure one, and implore salvation. Visit my ailing soul, and intercede to thy Son and our God, that he may grant unto me forgiveness for the grievous deeds which I have committed, O only blessed one. When Kirelation, 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 when thou, O man, art about to eat the master's body, draw nigh with fear, lest thou be seared, it is fire. And as thou drinkest the divine blood unto communion, first reconcile thyself with them that grieve thee, then with daring venture to eat the mystic food. Before partaking of the dread sacrifice of the life-creating body of the master, on this wise pray with trembling. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, the source of life and immortality, who art the maker of all creation, both visible and invisible, the co-eternal and co-beginningless Son of the beginningless Father, who in the abundance of thy goodness was in the last days clothed in flesh and was crucified and buried for us, the ungrateful and thankless ones, and by thine own blood didst refashion our nature, which hath been corrupted by sin. Do thou thyself, O immortal King, accept the repentance of even me, a sinner, and incline thine ear to me, and hear my words. For I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to gaze upon the height of thy glory. For I have provoked thy goodness by transgressing thy commandments, and by not obeying thine ordinances. But thou, O Lord, who art forbearing, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy, hast not given me up to perish in mine iniquities most surely awaiting my conversion. For thou, O friend of man, hast said through thy prophet that thou dost not desire the, de with desire the death of the sinner, but that he should return and live. For thou dost not will, O master, that the work of thy hand should perish, neither art thou well pleased with the perdition of men. But thou desirest that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. Wherefore, though I am unworthy of both heaven and earth, and even of this transient life, since I have wholly submitted myself to sin, and am a slave to pleasures, and have defaced thine image, yet being thy work and creation, I, the wretched one, do not despair of my salvation, but emboldened by thine immeasurable compassion, I draw nigh. Wherefore receive even me, O Christ, thou friend of man, as thou didst receive the harlot, the thief, 
the publican and the prodigal, and take away the heavy burden of my sins, O thou that takest away the sin of the world, who healest men's infirmities, who callest thyself, who callest to thyself them that labour and are heavy laden and givest them rest, who camest not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance, and cleanse me of all defilement of flesh and spirit. Teach me to attain holiness in fear of thee, that with the witness of my conscience pure, I may receive the portion of thy holy gifts, and be united with thy holy body, and the portion of thy holy gifts, and be united with thy holy body and blood, and have thee dwelling and abiding in me with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Yea, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not the communion of thine immaculate and life-creating mysteries be to me for judgment, nor may I become infirm in soul and body by partaking of them unworthily, but grant me until my last breath to receive without condemnation the portion of thy holy gifts for communion with the Holy Spirit as a provision for life everlasting and for an acceptable defense at thy dread tribunal, that even I, with all thine elect, may become a partaker of thine undefiled good things, which thou hast prepared for them that love thee, O Lord, in whom thou art glorified unto the ages. Amen. I know, Lord, that I partake of thy immaculate body and precious blood unworthily, and that I am guilty and eat and drink judgment to myself, not discerning thy body and blood of thee, my Christ and my God. But trusting in thy compassions, I take courage and approach thee, who did say, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my, body, my, my blood abideth in me, and I in him. Wherefore, have compassion, O Lord, and make not an example of me, the sinner, but deal with me according to thy mercy. And let these holy gifts be unto me for healing and purification and enlightenment and protection and salvation and sanctification of both soul and body unto the averting of every fantasy and evil deed and a diabolical operation working noetically in my members unto confidence and love towards thee unto amendment of life and stability unto an increase of virtue and perfection unto fulfillment of the commandments unto communion with the Holy Spirit as a provision for life everlasting and as an acceptable defense of thy dread tribunal, not unto judgment nor unto condemnation. O Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy nor sufficient that thou shouldest come under the roof of the house of my soul, for all is desolate and fallen, and thou hast not in me a place worthy to lay thy head. But even as from on high thou didst humble thyself for our sake, so now conform thyself to my lowliness. And even as thou didst deign to lie in a cave and in a manger of irrational beasts, so also deign to lie in the manger of mine irrational soul, and to enter my defiled body. And even as thou didst not disdain to enter and dine with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so consent also to enter into the house of my lowly soul, which is leprous and sinful. And even as thou didst not reject the woman, who was a harlot and a sinner like me, when she approached and touched thee, so also be compassionate with me, the sinner, as I approach and touch thee. And as thou didst not abhor her defiled and polluted mouth, which kissed thee, neither do thou abhor my mouth, yet more defiled and polluted than hers, nor my lips, which are loathsome, impure, and unholy, nor my tongue, yet more unclean. But let the live coal of thine all-holy body and thy precious blood be unto sanctification and enlightenment and strengthening of my humble soul and body, unto alleviation of the burden of my many offenses, unto defense against every operation of the devil, unto the averting and hindering of my vile and wicked habits, unto the mortification of the passions, unto the accomplishment of thy commandments, unto the increase of thy divine grace, and unto the attainment of thy kingdom. For it is not as one presumptuous that I draw nigh to thee, O Christ my God, but as one taking courage in thine ineffable goodness and that I may not by long abstaining from thy communion become a prey to the noetic wolf. Wherefore I pray thee, who alone art holy, O Master, sanctify my soul and body, my mind and heart, my reins and bowels, and wholly renew me. Root the fear of thee in my members, and make thy sanctification indelible within me. And be thou my helper and defender, and guide my life in peace, and make me worthy to stand at thy right hand with thy saints, by the prayers and intercessions of thine all-immaculate mother, of thine immaterial ministers and immaculate powers, and of all the saints who from ages past have been well-pleasing unto thee. Amen. I am not sufficient, O Master and Lord, that thou shouldest enter under the roof of my soul, but since thou, as the friend of man, dost will to dwell in me, with trust I draw nigh, thou commandest, 
I will open the wide the gates which thou alone hast fashioned, that thou mayest enter in thy wanted love for man, that thou mayest enter and enlighten my darkened thought. I believe that thou wilt do this, for thou didst not shun the harlot who approached thee with tears, nor didst thou reject the publican and repented, nor didst thou drive away the thief who acknowledged thy kingdom, nor didst thou abandon the repentant persecutor as he, as he was, but all who had been brought to thee by repentance, as thou established in the choir of, the, of thy friends, O thou who alone art blessed, who is now and unto the end, endless ages. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, loose, remit, forgive, and pardon the failings, faults, and offenses which I, thy sinful, unprofitable, and unworthy servant, have committed from my youth up to the present day and hour, whether in knowledge or in ignorance, whether in words or deeds or thoughts or reasonings and pursuits, or in any of my senses, and by the intercession of her that conceived thee without seed, the immaculate and ever-virgin Mary, thy mother, mine only hope that putteth not to shame, my defense and salvation, do thou count me worthy, without condemnation, to partake of thine immaculate, immortal, life-creating, and dread mysteries, unto forgiveness of sins and life everlasting, unto sanctification and enlightenment, and strength and healing, and health of both soul and body, and unto the blotting out and utter destruction of my evil reasonings, and thoughts, and predispositions, and nocturnal fantasies of the dark and evil spirits. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the honor, and the worship, with the Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, <clears throat> who alone has authority to forgive men their sins, since thou art good and the friend of man, for look, overlook all my, all my offenses, whether committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and count me worthy to receive without condemnation thy divine, glorious, immaculate, and life-creating mysteries, not unto punishment, nor unto an increase of sins, but unto purification and sanctification, and as an earnest of the life and kingdom to come, as a rampart and help, and for the overturning of adversaries, and for the blotting out of my many transgressions. For thou art a God of mercy and compassion and love for man, and to thee do we send up glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From lips tainted and defiled, from a heart unclean and loathsome, from a tongue befouled and filthy, from a soul bestained and soiled, O my Christ, receive my pleading. Yea, disdain me not, nor shun me, nor my words, nor yet my manner, nor my shamelessness and boldness, but with freedom let me tell thee, O my Christ, what I desire. Rather, do thou now instruct me what I need to do and utter. I have sinned more than the harlot, who on learning of thy lodging, went and purchased myrrh most precious, and with boldness she approached thee, to anoint thy feet and lave them, O my Christ, my God and Master. Even as thou didst not shun her, when she came with heartfelt fervor, thus, O word, do not disdain me. Nay, but rather do thou grant me to embrace thy feet, and kiss them, and with streams of tears to wash them, as with precious myrrh, most costly. With great boldness to anoint them, wash me with my tears, and thereby cleanse me, word of God, and lave me, grant remission of my failings, and bestow on me forgiveness, all my evil deeds thou knowest, and my wounds thou knowest also, and my bruises thou beholdest, but my faith thou knowest likewise, and mine eagerness thou seest, and my groans thou hearest also, there doth not escape thy notice, even one tear, O Redeemer, nor a fraction of a teardrop, O my Lord, God and Creator, yea, thine eyes did see my being, while as yet it was unfashioned, in thy book all thoughts and actions, even those not yet enacted, are inscribed for thee already. See my lowliness and toil, lo the greatness of my suffering, and O God of all, forgive me all the sins I have committed, so that with a cleansed and pure heart, and a mind f f with fear a tremble, and a soul contrite and lowly, I may draw nigh to partake of thine all pure and spotless mysteries, whereby all who eat and drink thee, with a heart sincere and guileless, are both deified and quickened. For thou sayest, O Master, he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood also doth abide in me most truly, and in him I am found also. 
Holy, true is this word spoken by my Lord and God and Master. For whoever doth partake of these divine and hallowed graces, which impart deification, is alone in truth no longer, but is with thee, O Christ, thou true light of the hallowed triple day star, which illumineth the whole world. Less than I remain alone now and apart from thee, life giver, O my breath, my life, my gladness, the entire world's salvation. For this cause do I approach thee with a soul contrite and tearful. O thou ransom of my failings, I entreat thee to receive me, so that I may now partake of thy life-giving blameless mysteries, and not suffer condemnation. That as thou didst say, thou mightest dwell with me, who am thrice wretched, lest that foul deceiver find me, and bereft of thy divine grace, and most guilefully seduce me, and with scheming cunning lure me from my words which make me godlike. Wherefore I fall down before thee, and cry out to thee with fervor, as thou didst receive and welcome both the prodigal and harlot, who drew nigh to thee, so likewise, O merciful Master, receive me, the great profligate and sinner, the most prodigal and vile one, as I dare now to approach thee with the soul contrite and humbled. Saviour, well I know that no one has sinned as I have against thee, nor hath wrought the deeds which I have. Yet again I know this also, neither the greatness of my transgressions nor the enormity of sinning can surpass my God and Saviour's great long-suffering and mercy and exceeding love for mankind. For with the oil of compassion thou dost cleanse and render shining all those who repent with fervor, and thou makest them partakers of thy light in all abundance, and true sharers of thy godhood. And, O marvel of the angels and for human understanding, thou hast conversed with them often, as with friends most true and trusted. These things now do give me daring, these things give me wings, O Christ God, trusting then in the abundance of thy benefactions towards us, with rejoicing, yet with trembling. I partake, I partake now of fire, thou but grass, O awesome wonder. Yet bedewed I am past telling, like that bush of old on Sinai, which was unconsumed, though burning. Wherefore, with a might most thankful, and a heart most thankful also, thankful also in the members of my soul and of my body, I adore and magnify thee, O my God, and glorify thee as one verily most blessed, now and ever into the ages of ages. O Lord, who alone are pure and uncorrupt, who through the ineffable compassion of thy love for man didst assume our whole substance from the pure and virginal blood of her that in a manner surpassing nature conceived thee by the coming of the divine spirit and by the good will of the everlasting Father, O Christ Jesus, the wisdom, peace, and power of God, O thou who in that nature taken upon thyself didst accept thy life-creating and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, do thou mortify all the soul-corrupting passions of my body, thou who by thy burial didst despoil the dominions of Hades. Do thou bury with good thoughts mine evil schemes, and dispel the spirits of wickedness, thou who by thy life-creating resurrection on the third day didst raise up the, our fallen first parent, raise me up who have slipped down in sin, and set before me the ways of repentance. Thou who by thy glorious ascension didst deify the flesh that thou hast taken upon thyself, and this honor by thy session at the right hand of the Father. By my partaking of thy holy mysteries, make me worthy of the portion of the saved at thy right hand. Thou who by the coming of the Comforter, thy spirit, didst make thy sacred disciples precious vessels, show me forth also as a also receptacle of his coming. Thou who art to come again to judge the world with righteousness, be it thy good will that I also meet thee in the clouds, O my creator and fashioner, with all thy saints, that without end I may magnify, I may glorify and hymn thee, with thy Father which is without beginning, and thine all holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I stand before the doors of thy temple, yet I do not put away my grievous thoughts. But do thou, o Christ God, who didst justify the publican, and have mercy on the Canaanitish woman, and open the gates of paradise to the thief, open unto, the, open unto me the bowels of thy love for man, 
and as I approach and touch thee, receive me like the woman with an issue of blood, and like the harlot for the one by touching the hem of thy garment receives healing readily, and the other by clasping thy immaculate feet obtain release from her sins. And I, and I, deplorable though I be, dare to receive thy whole body, may not be consumed, but receive me even as these. And do thou enlighten the senses of my soul, and burn up the indignance of my sins. By the intercessions of her that seedlessly bear thee, and of the heavenly hosts, for blessed are thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who camest on into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the chief. Furthermore, I believe that this is indeed thy, thine immaculate body, and that this is indeed thy precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed in knowledge and in ignorance, and vouchsafe that uncondemned I may partake of thine immaculate mysteries unto the remission of sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold, I approach divine communion, O, my, o maker, burn me not as I partake. For fire art thou which burneth the unworthy, but purify thou me from of every stain. Of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant. For I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies. I will not give thee a kiss like Judas, but like the thief do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Tremble, O man, as thou beholdest the deifying blood, for it is a burning coal that consuming the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourisheth me. It deifieth the spirit and wondrously nourisheth the mind. Thou hast smitten me with, love, with yearning, O Christ, and by thy divine love hast thou changed me. But with thine immaterial fire consume my sins and count me worthy to be filled to the delight in thee that at leaping for joy, O good one, I may magnify thy two comings. Into the splendor of thy saints, how shall I, the unworthy one, enter? For should I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my vesture doth betray me, for it is not a wedding garment. And as one bound, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the defilement of my soul and save me, for thou art the friend of man. O man befriending master, Lord Jesus Christ, O God, let not these holy gifts be unto me for judgment through my unworthiness, but for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and as an earnest of the life and kingdom to come. For it is good for me to cleave unto God, and to place in the Lord the hope of my salvation. Of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies. I will not give thee a kiss like Judas, but like the thief I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Glory Remember to thee, O God, I hope glory to thee. May he who was transfigured in glory on the mountain in the presence of his holy disciples and apostles, Christ our true God, at the intercessions of his all pure and holy mother, the holy glorious and all praised apostles, the holy glorious and all praised apostle Andrew the first called, and of our father among the saints, Maximus the confessor, whose memory we keep today in all the saints. May he have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy on us, and save us. Amen. The heavenly King, comfort the spirit of truth, who art everywhere present to fill us all things. The treasury of every good and bestower of life, come and abide in us and protect us in every stain and save our souls and good ones. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and will towards men. O Lord, I shall open my lips and my mouth shall so forth thy praise. Till we give you abuse and will be here unto the Osho. Here us to peace and will be here us to fear. Blessed is our God who is now and forever and to the ages of ages. May the Lord our God direct our steps in every good way. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom always now and forever.
Master, give the blessing. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from on high, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter in with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Nikitas, for the honorary order of the presbyters, for the diaconate in Christ, for all of the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our sovereign lady queen, Elizabeth, the, your, the royal family, her government, and all in civil authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city, town, and village, and for the faithful who dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and the temperate season, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, air or water, for the sick, the suffering, for those in captivity, and for their safety and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and constraints, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Mary of God, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us entrust ourselves into one another and for life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to thee belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saviour, save us. He who prepares mountains in his strength, through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saviour, save us. You cover yourself with light as with a garment through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saviour, save us. The mountain shall greatly rejoice at the presence of the Lord through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saviour, save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saviour, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed, and the glorious Lady Mother of God, and every Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us and us ourselves, and one another, and our life to Christ, our God. To you, O Lord. 
Spirit, and thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. His foundations are in the holy mountains. Save us, O Son of God, who were transfigured on Mount Tabor. We sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Save us, O Son of God, who were transfigured on Mount Tabor. We sing to you, Alleluia. Glorious things were said concerning you, O city of God. Save us, O Son of God, who were transfigured on Mount Tabor. We sing to you, Alleluia. A man will say, Mother Zion, and a man was born in her. Save us, O Son of God, who were transfigured on Mount Tabor. We sing to you, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Only begotten Son and Word of God, who being immortal, accepted for our salvation to take flesh from the Holy Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. You were crucified, Christ God, by death, trampling on death. Being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, Mother of God, and every Virgin Mary with all the saints, bless us and us, all of us, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For thou, God, of good and lovest mankind, and to thee we give glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. I will sing your mercies forever. You were transfigured on the mountain, O Christ God, showing to your disciples your glory as far as they could bear. Shine also on us sinners, your everlasting light by the prayers of the Theotokos, light give a glory to you. Ooh. We stone stand a pride. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ. Son of God, who were transfigured on Mount Tabor, save us who sing to you, hallelujah. Um, 
You were transfigured on the mountain, O Christ God, showing to your disciples your glory as far as they could bear. Shine also on us sinners, your everlasting light by the prayers of the Theotokos, light give a glory to you. Upon the mountain you were transfigured, and your disciples beheld your glory as far as they were able, O Christ our God, so that when they would see you crucified, they might understand that your passion was deliberate, and declare to the world that in truth you are the Father's radiance. and our glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. And to pages of pages. Amen. Holy
proclaiming and of the apostle how Amen. magnified are thy works O Lord in wisdom didst thou make them all let us attend bless the Lord O my soul O Lord my God thou wast magnified exceedingly wisdom The reading is from the Epistle of St. Paul to the Romans. Let us attend. Brethren, the one who mindeth the day, mindeth it to the Lord. And the one who mindeth not the day, mindeth it not to the Lord. The one who eateth, eateth to the Lord. For he giveth thanks to God, and the one who eateth not, to the Lord he eateth not, and giveth thanks to God. For none of us liveth to himself, and no one dieth to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord. For to this purpose Christ both died and rose and came to life again, in order that we, he might become Lord both of the dead and the living. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Let us attend. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time, Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion on the crowd because they have been with me now three days and have nothing to eat, and I am unwilling to send them away hungry, lest they faint on the way. And the disciples say to him, Where are we to get bread enough in the desert to feed so great a, a crowd? And Jesus said to them, How many loaves have you? They said seven and a few small fish, and commanding the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, and having given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds, and they all ate and were satisfied, and they took up seven baskets full of the broken pieces left over. Those who ate were Four thousand men besides women and children, and sending away the crowds. 
he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadan. Oh. He is Peter Lee, the proclaimer of the gospel. Let us all say with our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. Lord Almighty and God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Also, we pray for our Archbishop Nikitas and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Also, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and forgiveness of sins for the servants of God, all devout and orthodox Christians, those who dwell in our visit the city and Paris, and the gardens and members of this church and their families and for the servants of God, Maximus, his parent, stand family, sister, Philippos, his parents and family, all who have asked for our prayers, unworthy we are. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Also, we pray for the blessed and ever remembered founders of this holy church and for all our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest before us and who live here sleeping the true faith and for the Orthodox everywhere. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Also, we pray for those who bring offerings, those who care for the beauty of this holy and venerable house, for those who labor in, the, in each service, for those who sing, and for the people here present who await the great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou, God, have mercy upon and love mankind, and to thee we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Catechumens, pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Believers, let us pray to the catechumens. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord will have mercy on them. Lord, have mercy. Distract them in the world of truth. Lord, have mercy. Reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. Unite them mercy. to the His Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Lord, have mercy. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and keep them. O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Catechumens, bow your hands to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Lord, our God, dwelling on high and beholding things below, who for the salvation of mankind sent forth an only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Look upon thy servants, the catechumens, who have bowed their necks to thee, and count them worthy in due time of the washing of rebirth, the forgiveness of sins, and the garment of incorruption. Unite them to thy holy Catholic and apostolic church, and number them with thy chosen flock. That they also with us may glorify thine all honor and majestic name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages.
As many as are believers and gaining and gaining peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. We thank thee, Lord God of the powers of heaven, for counting us worthy to stand even now before thy holy altar, and humbly to seek thy compassion for our sins and those committed in ignorance by the people. Receive our supplication, O God, make us worthy to offer thee prayers and entreaties, and unbloody sacrifices for all thy people, and enable us whom thou hast appointed to this thy ministry by the power of thy Holy Spirit, to invoke thee at every time and place without blame and without condemnation, with the witness of a pure conscience, so that thou mayest hear us and be merciful to us in the abundance of thy goodness. For to thee belong, O glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, give mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. Again and many times we fall down before thee and pray thee, who art good and the lover of mankind, that heeding our prayer thou wouldst cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and would grant us to stand without guilt or condemnation before thy holy altar. Give also to those who pray with us the grace of progress and right living, in faith and spiritual understanding. Grant that always worshipping thee with fear and love they may partake of thy holy mysteries without guilt or condemnation, and be counted worthy of thy heavenly kingdom. That being always guarded by thy might, we may give glory to thee, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen.
Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here set forth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and constraint, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the cool day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, the guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this. 
things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, tell us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may live out the rest of our days in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. A Christian end to our life, painless and unsaving and peaceful, and a good defense before the good. Grand judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed, and the glorious Lady Mother of God, and every Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us entrust ourselves and to one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To to. Accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon thee with all their hearts. Accept also the supplication of our sinners and bring us to thy holy altar. And enable us to offer thee gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and those committed in ignorance by the people. Count us worthy to find grace in thy sight, that our sacrifice may be more pleasing to thee. And that the good spirits of thy grace may rest on us and on these gifts here set forth and on all thy people. Through the compassion of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with an all-holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you. And to your spirit. Let us love one another, <coughs> that with one mind we may confess. Father, I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten from the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come in again in glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I await the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand with all, let us wing stand with fear. Let us attend the holy on blessing that in peace we may offer mercy and peace a sacrifice of praise the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you and with your spirit, let our hearts be on high. We have them with the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and right. Thou 
Allah and thy Lord and begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit. Thou didst bring us out of non-existence into being, and when we had fallen, thou didst raise us up again, and left nothing undone until thou hadst brought us up to heaven, and hadst granted us thy kingdom that is to come. For all these things we give thanks to thee, and thy only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit, for all the benefits that we have received, known and unknown, manifest and hidden. We thank thee also for this liturgy, which thou hast been pleased to accept from our hands, to understand around thee thousands of archangels, and tens of thousands of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, Six-winged and many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings, singing, crying, shouting the triumphal hymn, and saying. No. Your 
child but a cord without corruption. It was God wearing flesh who came forth from your old holy womb. He was seen upon the earth and lived among men. And O Theotokos, therefore we all magnify you. saints in gaining and gaining peace let us pray to the Lord Lord have mercy for the precious gifts he sent forth and satisfied it let us pray to the Lord Lord have mercy that our God who loves mankind having accepted them on his holy and in material altar above the heavens as a savior of spiritual fragrance may send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and constraints, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Heaven asked for the unite of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us address ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. To thee, Master, lover of mankind, we entrust our whole life and our hope and we entreat, pray, and implore thee. Count us worthy to partake of thy heavenly and immortal mysteries at this sacred and spiritual table with a pure conscience for the forgiveness of sins and pardon of offenses for communion of the Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for confidence before thee, not judgment, nor condemnation. And count us worthy, Master, with confidence and without condemnation, to dare to call upon thee in the God of heaven, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. down from heaven, Master, and those who have bowed their heads to thee, for they have bowed not to flesh and blood, but to thee, the God before whom we stand in awe. Make smooth in our path for our good Master through what lies before us according to the need of each. 
sail with those who sail, journey with those who journey, and heal the sick, for thou art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind, of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, <coughs> together with an all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Give me, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from thy holy dwelling place, and from the glorious throne of thy kingdom, and come to sanctify us, thou who art enthroned on high with the Father, and invisibly present here with us. And with thy mighty hand grant communion of thy most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all the people. Let us attend the holy thing for the holy. shall greatly rejoice in the presence of the Lord, and he shall be seen in his glory. We shall walk in the light of the Thank you. 
shall walk in the light of the glory of your face, O Lord, forever. Alleluia. The mountain of God is a fertile mountain. A mountain richly curled up with milk, a fat mountain. We shall walk in the light of your glory, of your face, O Lord, forever. Ascend the mountain of the Lord, who shall stand in his holy place? We shall walk in the light of the glory of your face, O Lord, for Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has appeared to us. Of your mystical supper, Son of God, receive me today as a communicant. For I will not tell of the mystery to your enemies. I will not give you a kiss like Judas. But like the thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Of your mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not tell of the mystery to your enemies. I will not give you a kiss like Judas, but like the thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. At your mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not tell of the mystery to your enemies. I will not give you a kiss like Judas, but like the thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. 
of your mystical supper, O Son of God. Receive me today as a communicant, for I will not tell of the mystery to your enemies. I will not give you a kiss like Judas, but like the thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Of your mystical supper, O Son of God, Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Alleluia. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Mm. You were transfigured on the mountain, O Christ God, showing to your disciples your glory as far as they could bear. Shine also on us sinners, your everlasting light, by the prayers of the Theotokos, light give a glory to you. Who always now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Stand upright, having received the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life giving, and bread mysteries of Christ, and shall give forth thanks to Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Have in us that the full day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us entrust ourselves and to one another, to our full life, to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We thank thee, Lord, lover of mankind, benefactor of our souls, that thou hast counted us worthy today of thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our way, establish us all in the fear of thee, watch over our life and make firm our steps. Through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Mother of God and of the Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. Amen. To thou art the sanctification, unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord, thou dost bless those who bless thee and sanctify those who put their trust in thee. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Protect the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and return by thy divine power and do not forsake us who hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to our rulers and to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above coming down from thee, the Father of lights. And to thee we give glory, thanksgiving and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The mercy of God and His grace be upon you by His love for mankind, always now and forever and to the ages of ages. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, give the blessing. May he who was transfigured in glory upon the mountain before his 
the holy disciples and apostles, Christ our true God, by the intercessions of his all-pure and holy mother, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, by the grace of the holy and life-receiving tomb, the protection of the bodiless powers of heaven at the intercessions of the holy glorious prophet, foreigner and Baptist John, the holy glorious and all-praised apostles, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs our venerable and God-bearing fathers and mothers have shone forth in the ascetic life. The holy, glorious, and all-praised apostle Andrew, the first call to whom this church is dedicated. Our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we have celebrated. The holy and righteous forebears of God, Joachim and Anna. And our, fathers among, and our father among the saints, Maximus, the confessor, whose memory we also keep today in all the saints. May he have mercy on us and oh save us, Lord, for he is good Lord, and love of mankind. who blesses us and sanctifies us for many years. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity protect you all. And have a blessed final uh, days of preparation for the great feast of our Virgin Lady, her Domitian and uh, Assumption into the heavens. Uh, we have a short Bible study now. We can start in about 20 minutes time or so. Um, so half, half past 11, 20 to 12. Uh, if you want to go and grab a coffee or something, we'll, we'll meet back here and we'll have a short um, catechism Bible study session. Good morning. in the tuning fork.